the St. Paul Greek Festival is back this year, and it is no surprise Austin Love found his way to the food already this morning. Hey, buddy, tough week for you. Burgers yesterday, now this. Yeah. Dave, it's a tough job. Someone's got to do it, and I know that I have to get through talking through a few points, so I'm not trying to look right behind me at the, the lamb that's going right now. We're making some gyros over here. Oh, I just I accidentally looked at it, and now I just kind of want to dig my face right into it and start eating. But we're going to talk to John real quick and also our friend Mike here. But, John, tell us a little bit about, about what people could expect from Greek Fest. It's back this year. It wasn't here last year. You know, it's back. You know, last year, obviously, we couldn't have it. Two years ago, we had such a huge festival. We had thousands of folks coming in. Mike and I are both co-chairs here, and we knew we needed, we had to do something. And um, what we want to do is obviously in Greek it's called philoxenia, right? Okay. And philoxenia means hospitality. And what a better way to engage hospitality, engage our community by offering our Greek food, our customs, our traditions, and uh, this offering basically what we feel is the best Greek food in town. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And it's smelling pretty good. I'm ready to jump in real quick. But also doing something a little bit different here as well with the drive through uh, Tell us how people can participate in this, Mike. Well, participating in here, you could drive up. You could go ahead and uh, to our cash side to go ahead and pre-order you know, order there. Or you could pre-order online. Okay. So those are the two ways that you could help us out yep. over here to order the food and all that. And then... Um, we have a lot of volunteers that come here. Everybody's strictly volunteers, our whole church over here. And we also do have some people that are from outside that are volunteers to come here and help us. Yeah, fantastic. A great community event that you guys are putting on. And also just we want to stress about the food as well because that's really the star of the show uh, here, ladies and gentlemen. And this morning we're making, I learned a new word this morning, guys. You'll be proud of me. I'm expanding my vocabulary. Luco mares. And I have my friend Bill here to show me how to do it. <laughs> Bill, show, show us how, how we're making these luco mares. And it's, what, donut holes? Yeah, <laughs> Basically, it's a Greek donut. Oh, that's that's amazing. So uh, that's about it. That's just like fry them up and, and let them go. Yep, exactly. You Can fry I? them up, let them go. You add some cinnamon, nuts, and uh, syrup on them, and uh, it's nice breakfast uh, treat for you guys. You can't beat that. All right, so they're frying up right now. And about how long do these cook for? Uh, about seven minutes, eight, uh, six, seven minutes. All right, well, with the magic of TV, we already had a few over here rocking and rolling. So we got mm. the Luco Matis right now. 